I've mentioned quite a few times in the past of the importance of keeping your home assistant clean and tidy so that it runs its best. But truth is, sometimes it's hard to keep on top of. Entities get renamed, changed, deleted and then re-added and there is never any warning that entities are in use somewhere and so it's very easy to overlook, resulting in your startup times for Home Assistant taking longer than they should and everything just being a total mess. But now thanks to a community made tool, there is an easy way to fix that. This integration is called The Watcher from GitHub user Dummy Labs and came out quite recently. And essentially it will parse through all of your configuration files and figure out if you have any entities or services mentioned in your automations, configurations, scripts, etc. that are no longer in use and no longer exist and generates this sort of report that tells you exactly what is missing, where it's referenced and even what line it's mentioned at so that you can go in and fix things up keeping things nice and tidy. To install this integration, head over to Hacks and I'll leave installation instructions in the description if you don't already have Hacks installed. Go into the integration section and search for Watchman. After installing Watchman, make sure to restart Home Assistant to allow the integration to become active. Head over to Configuration, Devices and Services and add a new integration and search for and install the Watchman integration and then hit finish. Once done, you can click on the configure button on the Watchman integration to tweak some of the settings. The top two options allow you to configure a notification service that you want to use that Watchman will automatically send the report to, for example, through Telegram. The included folder options allows you to define additional folders that you want Watchman to scan through. By default, it will do all of the folders inside of your configuration folder, so most of you won't need to change this setting. Under that, you can then change the location that the report is saved to if you want to, as well as some other pretty self-explanatory options. The only ones you may want to consider changing is the ignored entities and services box. Basically, when you run a report, it might give you some entities or services that it finds that there isn't anything that you can do about. So you can add the names of those here so that they won't show up in the report anymore. I also like to tick the add friendly names option and the Lovelace UI option too, but be aware that the latter is experimental, so your mileage may vary. Now, we need to actually generate the report since it doesn't just run continuously. Head over to developer tools, services and then search for Watchman, select it and hit call service. What this will do is trigger Watchman to start running where it's then going to start checking through all of your automations and configuration files looking for any entities and services that no longer exist. After a few seconds the report should now be generated and you can now go ahead and open it for viewing. The default location is in your configuration folder and you can use something like Visual Studio Code or the file editor to open up the text file. When you open it up, you'll get a nicely formatted report with the entity ID, the state and the location of the rogue entity. You can see that on this particular install, I've been pretty negligent and I have 230 entities that I need to go in and actually clean up. In my defense, a lot of these get added when I'm making these videos that I often forget to come back to and clean up after I finish. I do have a separate install that I use for videos where possible, but sometimes I need actual devices and sensors. And so I end up using my main install. Anyways, I have a lot of work to do to clean this one up, which I'm definitely going to get right onto after this video. Now, this report gives you the location where the entity is. So for example, a line in your automation.yaml file. But chances are you probably aren't doing your automations in code, but rather you're doing them via the UI. So what's the best way to find these entities? The best way is to head to the line that it provides in your automation file first. So for example, if I'm looking at this report here and it tells me that my media player is missing, then I'm going to head over to my automation.yaml file and then down to the line or lines that it tells me that the entity is on. Once you find the line, if you're comfortable in doing so, then you can remove it using the code editor. But if you're not, then scroll up until you find the name of the automation where the problem is and take a note of that name. 
Then you can head back over to configuration, automations, and then with the name that you took a note of, edit the automation and remove the entity that should no longer be there. Hit save and you are done. And then repeat that process for any of the other entities listed. Then it's a case of just going through the report line by line and repeating those same steps, removing all of the rogue entities. And you can rerun the report at any time just to make sure you're actually getting the right ones and you're on the right track until you get the report down to zero or as close to zero as possible. This might take some of you a lot longer than some others. Obviously, I have a lot of work to do with 230 entities. But yeah, if you haven't been as negligent as me, you'll probably have a much easier time. So that was a nice quick one today. This is a really great little community made integration. Big props to Dummy Labs for creating this. I think this is a really useful integration that everyone should at least install just until they get their installation cleaned up and in a better place. Anyways, that's about going to do it for this video. If you're looking for something else to watch, check out this video over here where we talked about six essential beginner's tips for getting started with Home Assistant after you install it. Make sure to drop this video a like and get subscribed and I will see you in the next video.